and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while because I was on holidays and I didn't get to film four months on holidays and then I got engaged on holidays. Haven't got the ring on because it's in being resized but holy crap was it an absolutely amazing experience and still is and I am feeling so blessed that I actually, not even that I'm engaged but that somebody wants to marry me, let's be real. Anyway, how about the ring, in being resized, but I'm going to get it back and I'm going to show you. Cannot wait to get it back. I feel naked without it. I've only had it a couple of days. It's mad. Anyway, I wanted to come back and chat to you in a very calm, very chilled way about my current beauty favourites. So we all know that I'm a beauty obsessive person. I don't even know what else to say. But I have some really good ones and I want to share them with you. And I have ones from different categories. I also have some new products that I'm not 100% sure on yet. So I want to just show you them. Uh, so that maybe they'll be next month's favourites. I'm not really sure. So first I'm going to kick off with hair. I get asked a lot about what products I use for my hair. Because I have curly hair and I know it would be very, very difficult to manage. But I found the perfect shampoo and conditioner for curly hair. In my opinion. The first one is... A shampoo that isn't really a shampoo it's actually something called a co-wash this is the as I am coconut co-wash and that's it there basically what this is is it's a cleansing conditioner it's a massive bottle it's or um, jar it's 454 grams which is huge it's only it's less than 15 euro for the whole uh, tub and it lasts forever and I brought this on holidays. I didn't bring this size, I actually dispensed it into a little one, but it's really, really brilliant. So basically what this does is, it doesn't lather really a lot. So you put it into your scalp really and dampen your hair, put it into your scalp and just work it in. And it gives a little bit of a lather, but not much. But it actually does clean your hair, it really does. Um, so I use that every time I wash my hair, bar maybe once a month I would use a different normal shampoo. Um, even some with sulfates in it, to be honest. Um, I know sulfates is really not ideal for curly hair, but I use it because I find that it gets, if I have any buildup, it will get that out of the buildup. Um, but honestly, if you have curly hair, I would genuinely highly recommend this. My hair has become a lot more moisturised, a lot less frizzy, a lot more manageable, and it's actually more... It's kind of more, the curls are more separated, they're not just one big fuzz. It's actually kind of giving me ringlets almost in some in some respects. You can't really see it, but you can see under there I've got like little ringlets going on. Um, and it's amazing. It really is well worth getting. Then the conditioner is Biola, Biolage, Biolage Hydra Source Conditioner. Get this one and not the mask because the mask is absolutely crap. This is brilliant. Um, and again, this one is a couple probably 10 or 11, 12 euro, I'm not really sure. But both of these I get from Feel Unique. I do think um, Superdrug stock this one, but they don't stock this ones. I just get both of them off Feel Unique and they are so worth getting. They're brilliant. Really worth getting if you have curly hair. Definitely go on to it. I know loads of people have got this that I've recommended them to and they love them. So definitely get these two if you have curly hair. On to skincare then. And I have used up my first skin ingredients product. The one I've used up first, which is probably no surprise, is the Skin Veg, and that is the Zero Two Step. So this is the one. It's called a pre serum and penetrant enhancer. So basically, what this little guy does is you apply it after you cleanse, morning and evening, and anything you put on over this is going to penetrate deeper into the skin. This actually helps the product go deeper into the skin and I can actually vouch for this. I really think this actually works. I wasn't sure, I thought it was a bit of a odd thing, but it works. It absolutely works. Anything I've used over this has definitely, um, I've got better results from it. So it definitely enhances the performance of a product, plus it's really hydrating, so it's amazing. Um, I haven't got any more, I'm gonna buy another one, um, but at the moment I'm using a hyaluronic acid and it just doesn't compare. It's deadly. Honestly, it's 42 euro. It is a little bit expensive, but I definitely think it's great. The only thing is I use it very quickly, um, but I would report that I have to be honest, so I'm going to get that. And the next thing is from Nova Experts. I'm not sure if anyone has heard of this brand, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend you check it out because everything I've tried from them is pretty much 
spot on. So this is the Nova, Ex Nova Expert, the Peeling Night Cream. So basically what this is, it's a mix between vitamin C and some acids. I think it has lactic acid in it. I think it has PHA, polyhydroxic acid, I think. Uh, but it definitely has lactic acid and it definitely has vitamin C. And you use this as like a, a serum basically so use this first then this and then put your moisturizer over it it says to use it at night time um to kind of as an acid to kind of exfoliate the skin but i don't actually use this during the day so i would apply something like this first this and then my spf and that's me done for the day this is really really brilliant the brand in itself is very good it's a a french brand and i would genuinely highly recommend it a lot of pharmacies um stock them it's it's has been my favorite since I tried it and I love the consistency of it. it 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 delivers strong products without irritating your skin and that to me is key definitely worth checking out so that's oh no I have one more skincare kind of thing so um my eyelashes are in dire need of some TLC because I have abused them I've abused them by putting fake or putting extensions on picking them you know well, you won't talk about it here, but I have been a little bit abusive to them and I've made a bee of my eyelashes. So I've been using, and I've used this loads of times, and I actually find my eyelashes come back very well with it. This is the Mavala Double Lash, and it is just a little bottle. You get it in some pharmacies that stock Mavala, and you can get it online as well. I'm going to leave links down below, um, and it's not that expensive. I think it's about 14 euro, but I really find it's brilliant for <clears throat> my lashes. So you get, it's like a mascara wand, and the product is inside the little thingy bobs and yeah my lashes always come back with this so um as soon as I take off my lashes and sometimes even if I have a few lashes left on I'll go in with this and I love it. So I had to show this because I have no eyelashes at all at the moment and I'm raging. This is gonna help me. Then I'm gonna go on to makeup. So makeup there's not many actually I haven't really found anything major that I'm loving at the moment except for a couple of products. So this one I spoke about, I think, before. Yeah, I did. And this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I am 41NN. <clears throat> what do I have to say about this product? To me, it's bordering on the perfect foundation. Um, I find it very lightweight, so it's very lightweight, so it doesn't irritate my skin, because some thicker foundations can irritate my skin. It's long-lasting. Gives a really, really natural cover, so it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's in the middle. So I think you can make this dewy or matte. If you want a matte, put a matte fine powder or a matte fine primer on with it. And similarly, if you want a dewy, add a highlighting product underneath it, like as a base. Um, I love the Sculpted by Amy Beauty Base, and that gives me a gorgeous glow with that. Um, we only need a tiny bit of this, and it's really, really good. I wore this all the time, every night on holidays, and absolutely loved the look of my skin. The colour is probably not perfect for me probably be better if I had fake tan as opposed to natural tan because the natural tan kind of has a red undertone whereas the fake tan would have a more yellow undertone and this definitely it says it's neutral but I actually think it might be more um yellow toned so really lovely product if you have tried it let me know down below because I know a lot of people are loving this but I am really really impressed with this um and the next product is from Penny's so it's the PS My Perfect Colour Luminous Glow Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And this is 350. <clears throat> Basically, if I can get close enough, you can see that it is just a setting powder. But I actually really love this as uh, kind of giving a bit of a glow to the skin. I use this in a couple of ways. So I would use this to set my foundation if I know... I don't need it to last all day long, so it's not amazing at keeping your foundation in place, but it's grand if you have a drier type of skin, or if you're just not really, you're only out for a couple of hours or whatever, it gives a gorgeous glow. I would also use it over my, my foundation, powder, and then this, so as like a finishing powder, and I think it gives the best results that way. It just it takes away any powderness that your um, powder would have had, your powder, powder would have left underneath. So it gives a beautiful glow, very natural. It's, um, yeah, it's really, really natural. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hourglass powders. I'm afraid to say that because everybody would be thinking it's a dupe. It's not a dupe, it's not identical. It's not, it's not as uh, glowy. But it definitely is brilliant for 350, like you can't go wrong. Um, I also love a kind of, if I just want to highlight my cheeks, I kind of just rub it on my cheeks. 
that kind of thing. Now it's not going to give you loads of glow but just gives a very subtle glow and I really just think it adds an extra dimension to the skin and for 350 it's pretty deadly. I am shade light brown. Brilliant product, honestly, really worth checking out. Um, I have some of the other products from the My Perfect Colour range, but the colour just doesn't match me at the moment because I have tan. Um, so as soon as I am paler, I'll try them. Next product is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's not a cheap one, but it's a good one. Um, it's the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, the high blush high blush, yeah, in peach gasm. Uh, really wasn't sure what colour to pick on this. I didn't know whether to pick the pink or the peach. Got the peach, but I need the pink now as well, so I'm gonna have to buy that. And it's my birthday this week, so I'm going to have to buy that. Um, so, what can I say about this? It's basically cream blush, that's more of a highlight, I would say, um, but gives such a beautiful glow to the skin, it really does, so I would only, probably use a very small amount of this on I actually use it on a brush and I just stipple it on um and I usually use it as the last step so I actually use it over my powder products and it works really nice. I know people say don't mix um don't put uh, cream over powder but I do all the time and it works amazing. Love it. But you can just use it on its own with foundation um and don't set your foundation in that area. Um but I tend to use it after I set my foundation. Um, and I've done my bronzer and everything, so it's kind of my final step before my highlight. It's really, really gorgeous. It's so uh, sun-kissed. It gives a beautiful sun kiss, and that's what the peach does, whereas the pink kind of gives it a more pe pinky, kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a rosy tint, whereas this one is much more beautiful when you've a sun-kissed uh, tan. Amazing. Um, so that's that. And then I just have two lip products to finish that off. Um, and I have, right, I'm loving the Luna by Lisa lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners and everything but my favourite has to be Honeymoon Lip Liner and um, it's such a good brownie nudie colour Um, really really enjoy this so cheap the range is the, her lipsticks and lip liners and everything are just really really good so that is an amazing one and check it out it's if you like kind of a nudie colour so it's um, honeymoon I actually have it on now and what I have over it is probably my favourite gloss of all time it's really good uh, and something that mm, I probably I would yeah definitely one of my favourite glosses ever and it's definitely one that if you're into pinky lips like me and you like a good gloss it's a good one so this is the elf cosmetics lip plumping gloss in the shade sparkling rose and it's a deadly one I'm just gonna pop it on the back of my hand you might not be able to see it you can see it on my lips, actually I have on my lips, uh, but that's the colour there. And I'll just put this on the line around just so you can see. That's much more brown, this one. And then this is more pink. So the brown, um, it just kind of gives a lovely definition to the lips and then you can just add a bit pink over it. So I like that combination. And uh, I kind of overdraw my lips with the liner and it is lovely. That's my favourites for this month, but I do have three other products I wanted to show you that I'm on the fence about actually. One of them I know I love, do that I do really like and do that I'm not sure about. I need to investigate this a little bit further because I actually don't know what I think about it. Let's start with the one that I love, but I'm not ready to give a review on yet. I need to try it a little bit more. So this is the Environ Skin Essentia, yeah, the AVST moisturizer, and I'm only in step one. So basically, what is this? This is a retinol. So what is this going to do? It's really anti-aging. It's going to help with the wrinkles. It's going to help with the skin texture. It's going to help with pigmentation. It's gonna get deep into the skin and it really does. It's one of these products you put on, you're like, what is this actually even doing? And then you realize, oh my God, my skin is purging with it. It's getting rid of all the crap on my skin. You can see the big spot there. I have a spot under here. It's getting rid of stuff. Um, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but I'm only kind of starting it. So I don't want to give a proper review yet, but I will be back to talk about it. Um, so yeah. Basically what happens with this is you use it morning and evening and the girl even told me you can use it in the sun which most of the retinol you can't. I'm not sure if you can use it if you're pregnant actually that would be something you'd need to check. Um, but you start at the level one and then you build it up and up and up as you go along. So I'm only in level one, I'm only a newbie even though I've been using retinols for ages but she still recommended using it number one and they keep track if you've um, I bought mine in therapy and they keep track to make sure that you're only you're using the right steps at the right time which is cool but this is very promising I do have to say that it's very very promising so Luna by Lisa already mentioned it but this is the palette the face palette and I wasn't really sure about this when I first started using it but it's bleeding gorgeous so nice 
is so nice. So basically what happened, what you get in this, you get a bronzer, a blush and two highlights. And I can't, yeah, I can show you there. But I have to say, it's a deadly little travel one. I have to show you this, uh, this highlighter. Like seriously, look at that. It's a really good one for traveling. Wish the bronzer was a little bit bigger, I'm not gonna lie, but I am liking that. So that's one that I'm liking. Haven't fell in love with it yet, but I am liking it. It takes me a while to fall in love with products. And then the one that I really thought was gonna absolutely adore, but it's just not working for my skin. Now my skin is very dehydrated after coming back from holidays. But it's the Uriage Eau Thermale Water Cream Tinted Compact. I thought I was gonna absolutely love this. Like I really did think this was like my ideal product because I love natural looking skin, but I actually can't get used to it. I think my skin is probably too dark for it because I look very pale when I put it on. So we'll see. But it's a cream compact. It says a universal shade, one fits all, but I'm actually too dark for it at the moment, which is is not good. Um, but I do think paler skins would like this and drier skins. Um, and I do have dry skin, so it should work for me. I think it's just the paleness that's not working. So I'm going to give that a go during the month and I'll let you know um how we got on with it so i do realize that this is supposed to be a favorites video but it's just a general favorites it's not a monthly favorites okay so this is where i'm at, at the moment and then every month i could do my favorites and let you know what i've been liking what i've been loving let me know in the comments below what your favorites were because i'd love to know because i do need to start um trying out new products because i've slacked a little bit um but i would love to start trying more new products i have loads to try but i want to know what you like so let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got a new, few new favourites. Definitely get on the buzz. If you're a curly haired girl, get on the buzz of the co-wash. Life changing, genuinely hair changing, has changed my hair. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you like the video. And I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching.